The devil works hard, but who mark works harder? This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hi, it's Divi G. What does the G stand for? The G stands for you're not going good to be get cringe. Doing a Christmas themed videos all December. A lactose intolerance nightmare. Hallmark's Christmas films are a trademark and staple of American culture. I feel like Hallmark really said, you want to see some real commercialization, bringing you brand spanking new 41 new Christmas films for 2021. Hallmark specializes in socially conservative films about disenfranchised, single, young, hustling women living in the city. And then you're like, you know what? I want to move out into the suburbs. So they move out into a quiet town neighborhood into a house that has a live laugh love doormat and then what bada bing bada boom what's that it's a hunky grooms man the story is really about love and finding that and just like how the plots are all pretty much the same thing look at just look at the movie posters key things that you need in every hallmark movie poster firstly you need a jessica and you need a loop. Preferably you want an incredibly groomed man and woman that look like their soul is trapped inside of a host body and they're held together by a curse, like Sisyphus, that forces them to smile for all eternity. To keep things interesting, maybe they're holding something. Oh, you just caught me mid-decoration. Oh, <laughs> I was just decorating too. <laughs> now the pose. Woman, woman in, in front, front of, of man. man. Woman next to man. man. Woman with, with back to man. man. Woman embracing man. man. Woman, woman looking, looking at man, man. Woman, woman sitting next to man, man. And, and just to spice things, things up, woman, woman with a guitar. guitar next to a man. And to tie it all together, we have twinkling lights and a Christmas tree. And bonus points if your movie has Christmas in the title. Okay, let's talk about color scheme. The red and blue are contrasting colors. That means they're on opposite sides of the color wheel. My color theory says that two colors that are contrasting are always gonna kind of stand out against each other. It really pops, it kind of grabs your attention, right? So Ariel Exter, the author of The Secret Language of Color, calls this a combination of the beauty of nature and the crassness of commerce that come together to solidify the image of these two colors in our collective mind. They're going to explore where red and green for Christmas came from. Red and green, pretty Christmassy, you know, Justin Bieber kissed me under the mistletoe. The exact origins of this association is hard to trace back. There's not really like a definitive moment in history where they were like, all right, okay, yeah, red and green, that's very Christmas. <laughs> Um, but it can be traced as far back as the Celtics to Christianity and Holly. And you might be surprised to know that this became a more ubiquitous symbol around the world because of Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola are one of the big pioneers of like marketing strategy. Back in the day in the 1930s, Coca-Cola hired an artist to create an image of Santa Claus for one of their marketing campaigns. And the artist came up with this, which is very widely recognized today. Like the Coca-Cola logo, he's adorned in bright red. He's jolly, not a cell phone in sight, just living in the moment. So talking about commercials and ads. So thank you to the sponsor for today, which is Squarespace. So you've heard of Squarespace by now, it's for a reason. Let's say you need somewhere to put your artwork Work, your portfolio, you need a website, you want to make a blog, you want to make a podcast. Squarespace makes all of that easy so you don't have to code a thing if you don't want to. As a previous web developer, maintaining, updating, and even just creating a website can be quite difficult depending on what you want. Squarespace removes those barriers and makes life easy for you. There you customize your own templates, have features that let you integrate social media so that whoever's on your website can share things on their social media, they can follow yours. You can go check out squarespace.com, get a free trial, and then when you want to purchase, I have a code for you so you can use it's divya or go into squarespace.com forward slash it's divya get a sweet 10 percent discount off your first purchase for your website or your domain and i hope that this helps some of you red the color of passion romance and curly wife's fingernails green is money good luck fortune white and gold elegance and purity so more often than not the women are cosplaying as the fourth studio album by american singer songwriter taylor swift published in 2012. But this isn't just like a Christmas or Hallmark staple, this actually has its roots in romantic comedy. We have the adorning of the red dress. Literature and media, red symbolizes seduction, sexiness, passion. And just visually against like a plain white backdrop, your eyes are very much drawn to that pop of color. You've got the man and the woman, their backs are to each other because that says, hey, and I made a bit of tension in this movie. Maybe it's like a enemy still lover. And then some of these Hallmark posters are tipping their fedoras saying, my lady, 
at romantic dramas. Big, beefy, floating heads in the sky. Color palettes tell us what movies are about. The marketers and the designers said, hey, it works. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So we've seen this down at other places as well, for example, Netflix. And it's not just because they only have one graphic designer who has stretched and on the verge of burnout. And it's because designers know what drives audiences into the theatre. And I think it's more than just because it's like a trend, um, but I think it really does encompass Christmas a little bit. Nostalgia is a huge thing, and I'm not just talking about Dua Lipa. Nostalgia is a huge commercial driver. It's why Disney keeps making the same film over and over again. And it's why Mariah gets her fact check every Christmas. It's also why we keep listening to the same songs from like the 1950s. Christmas is about homecoming. It's about looking back and like warmer times, reminiscing, and I think Hallmark movies, despite the cheesiness. The posters are familiar. They're risk free. It's a formula that works. Like the lyrics of an Ed Sheeran song. You know what you're gonna get. Neurologically, your brain just loves repetition. For certain types of movies, we love being able to predict what happens next. You're like, oh, oh yeah, I know it. It's, it's like a reward. No politics, no radical feminism, just middle class vibes and whimsicalness. It's why people love it and people love to hate it. These movies offer hope that, you know what, it might just be all right in the end. Times are so uncertain and in an ever shifting political and social landscape, nothing says consistency and reliability than an overworked middle class attractive woman falling in love. Hallmark for people who are afraid of new things. <laughs> Congratulations, you made it through my crust. If you did enjoy this in any aspect at all, I would appreciate a like, subscribe. I reached my goal of like 100K. I just, I really want that silver black. So contrary to popular belief, I'm actually not an American citizen. So I've never seen a Hallmark film, but I'm so curious to see if any of you guys have ever seen it. Follow me on my social Twitter and Instagram and I'll come in for a hug. I wore green today just to like be on theme. And they, the, and they and they have, and people always bashing on about, oh, find your niche, find the thing that you like to do. And Hallmark was like, <coughs> okay. I have been busting out the Christmas tunes. And actually, I used to hate Christmas songs when I was younger, but it's actually good, you know. I was like, oh, all right. The only, the only Christmas song I don't like is the one that's like, screams, it's Christmas. And then, no. Honestly. I'm hungry. I have so much work to do.